two normal maps that you want to blend between two vertex colors and one of those vertical colors will blend into an additional UV channel. Uh, let's make an issue case. Gonna unwrap. Here's a UVW map. I'm gonna make a seam exactly in the center. There you go. Now this seam here over here, I want to blend between with another vertex color. So by doing that, I'm going to need an additional map channel. I'm going to leave the second one for the light map, so this third one will be the new color. I'm going to open the UV editor again. I'll rotate this one just in case. And as you can see, there is no seam, which is fine. Okay. And since I need to blend this, I'm going to make this another vertex color. In this case, for the setup, I'm going to use red. Okay, and I already know that the alpha has to be zero. Okay. So, this new color will be a different UV channel, the third one in this case, which will blend the normal map from the left side over to the right side. I'm going to name this um, blend normal issue just to make sure okay let me export it real quick export selected okay I'm gonna put this by the side I'm gonna go here content browser import vertex blend normal issue vertex colors import all here's the mesh. Okay, just to make it clear, you can definitely see there's a seam here. Okay, already made a normal map. Uh, let's see where it is. There. And in this case it's almost correct. For some reason, as you can still see, there is a seam here. And the seam is created by the first UVW map, which is doesn't really make sense because as you can see here, the number two is correct, the coordinate index is two, which is correct. Zero, same for here. Coordinate index two for the small squares. Which means that for some reason the normal map, it's only the normal map, I can guarantee you this, still for some reason is taking over the seam from the first channel. And in most cases this will be fine, you won't really notice it with most normal maps, but as you can see there's still an issue. But now comes the worst part. Imagine that I have to do some weird mesh and one of these parts is actually rotated. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees to make my point. Okay, collapse all. And let's go to the third channel again just to make sure that nothing changed there. And as you can see it's still the same. There's no seam, it's all correct. And I'm going to export it again. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the content browser. I'm going to import it again. Yes, import all. Here we go again. Uh, let's see where it is. Sometimes it's hard to see a freaking plane. Come on, plane, where are you? I can't find the, my plane. Oh, there it is. Sorry for that. But what happens now, since this half is flipped upside down, well actually not even flipped, it's just rotated. For some reason the normal map in the second UV channel is flipped. You can definitely see it here where the seam line is. And it doesn't make any sense. Let's go back to just one material. You can definitely see the seam here. And uh, when I go to It 
it's inverted and it doesn't make any sense and it's really confusing and it's one of the problems I've been fighting against the past few weeks already and I'm assuming it's a bug or I have no idea so let's go back to the mesh and let's say we don't want we still want the blend but let's make sure there isn't any seam in the first channel gonna rotate it again and we're gonna make sure it's snapped there there's no seam now in the first channel okay collapse all gonna export it again yes okay okay go to the content browser I'm gonna import it again yes it's still overriding the vertex colors okay where's my there it is and as you can see now there is no seam whatsoever which means that there is still some information from the first channel going to the second UV channel that's used I've tried different uh, coordinate indexes 1, 2, 3, 4, it doesn't matter the moment there's a seam in the first UV channel or at least the ones that's mainly used there will be one in an additional coordinate index so it that must be a bug right and just to prove another point in the wrap let's rotate the whole channel here okay collapse all export selection again yes okay back to the content browser import the mesh import all For some reason I can never find the plane. I should use boxes. Come on, where are you? There you are. And again, no seam in the center. Just for repeating sake, you And I'm gonna rotate this. I select top ones. Uh, rotate these as well. Collapse all. Export selection. Yes. Okay. Uh, back to here. The content browser. Import the mesh again. Yes. Import all. And probably for the X time I can. Mm, oh, hey. New record. The seam is there again. The seam over here is a bit harder to notice. which can definitely tell it's there so my conclusion is that there's something wrong with the UV channels how do you look at it, it or at it? Pff, I have no idea I'm no coder or whatever something is wrong and I'm just proving a point here I hope this helps and I hope gives me an explanation. Somebody oh my god, sorry, apologies. That somebody gives me an explanation on why this is happening and how this can be solved. I mean obviously in most cases I can just rotate the UV channels when needed, but there are cases where the texture needs to be in a certain direction to look good, especially with specific normal maps, that I can't just rotate the UV map, the first channel. So that must be it. I hope this helps finding an issue or an answer. Okay, bye.